I need to watch this game. Tell my girlfriend, hey, honey, I can't be available Sunday because I need to watch the NFL so I can invest and make money. You can buy a car at, at, if you get a good cost basis on it, a good margin, you can sell it generally for 20%, 30% more than what you pay for it in a relatively short amount of time. Guys, I'm telling you, this is the time to get in. We're gonna look at a graph of every basketball player through this upcoming off season. And we're gonna go, what off season? Prices continue to go up through most of the off season. And then the trajectory of this card, boom, is like, boom. And I don't even care about the big dip things over here. And I don't think that you guys should really care about it too much either when one goes down like pretty hard. So a little bit more about Starstock. This is, I think, eBay's number one competitor. But well, overall, the thinking for Baker Mayfield is an upward trend. And I think next season, um, you should have some solid card value. They have a PSA 10 under $60. They have a PSA 9 under 30 or a raw base card under $10. I am buying that card. Woo! Woo! I could seriously, I could seriously watch those clips all day. Not all of it was bad advice at the time, but many of these influencers don't appear to have the same passion for buying now that prices have dipped yep, yep. the last few years. To me, that doesn't make any sense. If it was a great time in 2020 to buy, shouldn't it be a great time to buy in 2023? Boba Shet. What makes those clips funny is it's easy for me to see who was in the business of cards for money clicks, clout, or fame, and who really has a passion either for the business and or the cards themselves. There are still a lot of successful card dealers out there who buy and sell cards every single day. This was actually true before the card boom and actually the PPP loan money explosion. You are not the person that I have ever thought about suing. There are tons of dealers out there who sell hundreds, if not thousands of cards every single day. Think about that. For many, it's a full-time lucrative job. I personally could buy and sell sports cards every single day. The process for me is just so much fun. I bought and sold over 130,000 sports cards on Check Out My Cards, mainly because it's a fun part of what I do each and every day. As you know, with me, it's, uh, it's all about the vibes. Buying and selling sports cards form the foundation of my most successful business I ever had when I became a top seller on StubHub, selling mostly NFL sports tickets for about five years. My process of buying and selling sports tickets is exactly the same as my process of buying and selling sports cards. I like to turn cards over quickly. I'm not an investor. I don't like to buy and hold. I don't like to speculate on young players unless it's a team that I'm interested in or I have a rooting interest in that particular player. I like to buy and sell cards at lower price points. Typically that's $100 and under, but with cards I've never thrown enough money at it to kind of play in those higher spaces. This is my friggin' house. But we are trying to change that over here at Sports Card Radio. My brother and I are gonna team up. He has sold one of his Rolexes the Rolex wearing real estate is still very expensive out here in California. Maybe I'll rent out my backyard to somebody living. We will figure out a freaking way to get some money coming in the door so that we can buy some sports cards. You can't sell sports cards unless you buy them. So we will be on eBay, on ComC, on Golden. Okay. We will hit up some card shows. I'm sure I freaking love the buying process, whether that's online, whether that's in person. Hopefully you guys out there who have had some success buying and selling sports cards will give us some tips and you can help us by joining us live on Thursday. That's right, we will be going live to talk crap about various sports card influencers. We will analyze the Cibles versus Santiago sports basketball beef. We can talk about card trimmer Will Jamet coming out of nowhere, challenging us to a $25,000 fight four years after we wrote an article about it. That's not content. Hey bro, you should have hit me up when I was in my mid thirties if you wanted to fight. That's drama. There is the Super Bowl this weekend. So you can tell us who you think will win and you can watch us blow money on sports cards. We've probably bid on over a hundred things in the last few days. So hopefully we win some things. We will be going live on Thursday at around 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern, 
Thursday, mark your calendars. We're trying to blow through Collins Rolex money really quick. Kenny is running weekly auctions now, guys. Okay. So I'm sure we'll be over on his site trying to win some stuff. There was a Bill Belichick, Bill Walsh dual autograph I was looking at. There was a one of one Larry Bird card. There was a ton of vintage cards. I'm hoping will end underpriced. We shall see every day every day guys literally i bid on 25 to 100 check out my cards auctions we will pull those up there was a griffey card i think we were looking at on ebay maybe backyard sarah will be breaking somewhere we'll pull her stream up come watch us blow some money on sports cards give us some advice in the chat let us know who we should investigate next in the sports card world will some breakers dip yep. to the fanatics app and leave whatnot should i have gotten a ppp loan no 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 what rolex did colin sell we've got lots to talk about come hang out with us on thursday and until next time yep, yep. we'll see you later yep.